Welcome to Das Geek. I am so happy to be able to review this product here, Screenly, because it's just awesome. It is a open source digital signage tool. So if you've ever walked into a McDonald's and you see the TVs there and they have the beautiful bright screens with the menus displayed, or maybe you go to a cyber cafe or movie theater or pretty much anywhere nowadays where they are utilizing digital signage to be able to show menus, to be able to show options to customers, maybe even run short demo videos. Screenly is running in the background ever since I've had this on in Destination Linux to troll some of the co-hosts uh, with things like, by the way, I run Arch or maybe show their logos for their particular products and things. People have been asking me what tool I'm utilizing. And so what I did is I took a Raspberry Pi and it is mounted with Velcro behind that television. And I use Screenly Open Source, which allows you, if you follow the steps here, you basically take their custom image, you burn it onto a SD card, you put it in your Raspberry Pi, and it will go through the install process. It is super, super simple to go and do. And then once you're done with that, you're going to get an IP address. Uh, and once you go to that IP address, then you can control and add things to that screen, whatever you want. It can be videos, it can be URLs, it can be still pictures. So this is really important for small business to look far more professional and you can do it for completely free of cost or as cheap as a Raspberry Pi. Now they do have more pro options out there that allow you to have more storage and other features and things. So you can take a look at those prices here. And certainly if you are making money off of their product, if their product is helping you, you should consider supporting them because they did go out there and provide this as a free and open source solution. A lot of times, uh, a lot of the products I was looking at out there all want you to pay this first or give you 14 day trial. They don't have a free option to use their product at all. So big shout out to Screenly for that. So now what you see here is my actual setup for this television. Now you can see I have next asset, so I can actually just skip two different assets that I want or previous asset. I can add an asset and you can see it gives me an option. I could put a URL in here. I can skip the check. I can add manual files here if I want. And you can see I have the wallpaper, DL, the I use Arch, the Tux Digital logo, the Zebedee, and then this is the video that I uploaded for the video that it will play towards the end. And then here are inactive assets. You can see all these are set to on. And in the inactive assets are just the two that come with it. You get a weather and a clock widget here. Now, if I go into one of the assets, I can actually edit it and I could tell it to play forever and the duration that I want it to play for. If I want some to be longer than others, this one only plays for 10 seconds that I use Arch. I can change that to 15 seconds and I can have this one play forever as well. But this is a great way to expire out different themes. So maybe you have a special that's running within your small business, uh, but you only run it, want it to run for the next week. You can set the start and end time there for the next week so that you don't have to worry about updating it or remembering to update it. You can set that expiration right there. And of course, if you need to turn anything off, you can just go to the URL uh, that, in, and as soon as you turn the device on, it'll tell you the web URL that you need. Once you have it installed to go to, you type that in and boom, you're going to be all set up and ready to go. So that's just a quick look at this tool, I think it's absolutely amazing. It never breaks. It's always, always running in the background. It's running off of something as low powered as a Raspberry Pi. I could see this being so helpful for a small business to create digital signage. And especially if you're just starting out, you don't have the funds to pay for a service. You can start with this and then upgrade to their pro and get some more features out of that. But you can see there's just a ton of different things in here for you to go in there and play with and experiment with. A super cool tool, screenly.io is the web address, but if you want to see the open source uh, version of it, then you're going to, um, you're gonna wanna go to this OSE here, screenly.io slash OSE for their open source edition 
follow their instructions. It's super simple if you've ever messed with a Raspberry Pi and you'll be all set up with digital signage. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if this helped you. Maybe you're gonna run it in your small business. Maybe you're going to impress your boss so much because you're gonna say, hey, for a $35 Raspberry Pi and this software, we're now going to modernize all of our signage in our shops with digital signage. Thanks to Das Geek. Until next time, get out there and fill your brain. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch the video.